Season greetings, strippers! Uh, wait, that didn't sound right. Uh, strip... Peas? Strip... Pites? Strip... Ponying? Oh, screw it. I'll come up with a name later. Welcome to a special holiday edition of Strip Search. How can you tell it's a holiday edition? Well, for one... Two... I'm drinking eggnog. And three, I'm about to unwrap a gift to myself. That's right, folks. Call of Duty 3 Modern, or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Hearted Edition. Now, those of you who follow me on Twitter, at Fanto, may know that I tweeted that I wasn't going to do a strip search of Call of Duty. Nothing against the name personally, I just could not find the... Hearted Edition. I mean, it was sold out faster than fast, faster than anything. But on Black Friday, I got a uh, Best Buy gift card from uh, for my birthday, and at the same time, apparently they just got a new stock. So I picked it up, and then I held onto it like Andy Circus. My precious. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anywho. Oh, and before you ask, I haven't been drinking any alcohol, so. <sighs> Alrighty. This is a strip search that was Come it. Uh, okay, here we go. Mm. Ah. Well, here we go. Uh, the box feels similar to the Gears of War 3 uh, um, edition, so um, I wonder if the... Oh, you know what? I didn't realize this until now, but the uh, apparently there's a little, like, uh, I guess the diagram sketch thing on... Uh, on the cover. So this slides out. I think I might throw away the cover after this just to avoid myself the hassle. Ah, there we go. It's got the same felt feel as the Gears of War 3. Oh, before I open it up, a quick disclaimer. I am not jumping on the whole Battlefield 3 Modern Warfare 3 debate. I've played both games, well, demos of both games, and to me, both games have their strengths and both games have their weaknesses. And I will not choose one over the other, period. So don't try to convince me that, oh, this is better than this or whatever. Maybe if Battlefield 3 came out with a special edition, I would get it. Wait, maybe they did. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. Uh, so, in here, ah, we have... Oh, first, let me quickly display the innards. This is strip search after all. And let's see. Uh, here is the Call of Duty Elite Founder card. And there is a code on the back that I guess would allow me access to become a member. But I will not show you the back because I have not redeemed it yet. I'm not that stupid. 
Now here we have, it's interesting, it's like a journal or something, or like, a, it's got like sketches and, huh? What's this? Um, I guess it's a, uh, some sort of Russian newspaper clipping? Uh, with some stuff highlighted. Uh, there's only one sentence in English that I recognize, and it's man of the people. Not sure what that means. Uh, let's see. Apparently it's got like a map of the world, and it's apparently a... Oh, I guess this must be the translation or something. Uh, whoa, good grief, everything's falling out today. Huh, apparently it's a photograph. I don't recognize any of the people there, really. I guess they're, uh, like a carrot. I guess they're like the main characters or something or huh okay so uh, oh just took that back in and uh, here we have a tin uh, which I guess contains the game proper. Uh, why do they always include stickers even though it's like in like three layers of packaging? It's ridiculous. Uh, okay. You go bye-bye. And, yep, it's the game. And there's the game manual. Uh, nothing else included with it, so. And let's see, apparently these are, uh, it's a pamphlet of the, I guess it's instructions on how to, uh, uh, Oh, it's, uh, I guess it's at the Call of Duty Elite uh, thing. And there are apparently codes after... Uh, codes here, and which expired... Uh, oh, it'll expire next November, so... I'm still good. So, uh... Oh, Founders Welcome... Yeah, so there are codes back here. Uh, Call of Duty Elite Membership Token Code. Um, press the Guide button. And let's see, Special Ops Avatar Token Code Male. And Special Ops Avatar Token Code Female. Hmm, I wonder if I could... I wonder if I could get both of them. Um, let's see. Is that it? I think so. So, I guess that's it. Um, uh, maybe, uh, obviously the Call of Duty fans will, uh, will eat this up like it's, uh, Christmas cookies. And, uh, oh, excuse me, holiday cookies. Uh, but, but, uh, casual gamers may want to pick up the normal edition. I mean, it's cool, and the Founders, uh, Elite stuff is definitely, uh, substantial, but I, but I don't think it will, um, but, like I said, casual gamers may find themselves turned off by this. 
So there you have it. This is going up next to my other games. So uh, I will probably have one more up before the end of the year. So I will see you all for one more time on the next strip search. Until then, everyone, have a joyous holiday.